Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Monday, November 19th, 2018 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, I am powerfully passionate about my integrity. And today we have this Mars Jupiter square that I talked about in the horoscope over the weekend. Um, and I talked about that energy as one where we want to be aware of like religious war, truth war coming up. But a really great message came through for this um, beyond the religious war is what's your truth and are you living it? Because that's one of the things that I see so strongly when somebody has, you know, such a strong opinion. <laughs> um, are you living your truth? And this is really the energy, you know, finishing up Scorpio, those last few days of Scorpio, where we really want to be real. And we have like the Sagittarius coming in with that truth energy, the, the alchemy between the last few degrees of Scorpio and the beginning of Sagittarius, the truth, the realness, and are you being true with yourself and in through this? Now, in this energy, you definitely may have people coming and trying to like, push their truth down your throat or you may feel the need to uh, <laughs> express your truth, share what your truth is, promote your truth. But the thing that you can reach for, the light you can reach for in and through this is what is your truth? Do you know your truth? Are you aware of your truth? Like I said, for me, <laughs> truth is love and everything else kind of finds its way on the pathways in between. Um, everything else is like kind of a stepping stone that's either taking me closer or further away from love. So that's my truth. And that's my truth that I'm consciously working on living at every moment and working on my integrity around that in every moment. What is your truth? And are you living it? Reach for that light in and through this rather than trying, well, this this is right and this is wrong. I love that Rumi poem, beyond right doing and wrong doing, there is a field and I will meet you there. Reach for your light. Live your truth. <laughs> Make sure you're walking in your integrity. That is the realness and the power of Scorpio. And Scorpio may come up and show you where you have been avoiding your truth. And that's okay because it's not always easy to walk that line. It can be a very narrow line. But be very aware of that in the background of this energy, especially if you have those truth mirrors around you trying to, uh, you know, push their truth down your throat. All right, besides that, we have the moon continuing in Aries, which can definitely make us very forceful and passionate um, and powerful. And that moon in Aries is connecting to Mercury in Sagittarius. So that, again, could really bring up this energy. Now, I was thinking about... Um, I was thinking about this full moon that's coming up ahead, full moon in Gemini on Thursday. And I was like, you know, <laughs> full moon in Gemini just wants to take in everything. It's like, oh my God, everything, everything is around there. And that's what I would say, rather than get annoyed by anybody who may be pushing things on you in this energy today, again, go back to that thing that I just said, everything is a stepping stone. Everything has some lesson for you. Everything is just pushing you on the path and again could be pushing you closer or further away from your truth so utilize it to move you forward in a powerfully passionate way on your personal integrity on your personal path in your personal integrity on your personal path the final aspect of the day is the moon in aries squaring pluto now this is one of the things you know Moon and Aries ties us into our I am. It can make us very emotional around our I am energy. And we do have a lot of healing and work to do on our I am energy. In fact, we've got Uranus hanging out at that 29th degree. So we still have some like pulling out of ourselves to do. We still have these places where we're, we're holding back that innocence, holding back that inner child and it needs some rebirthing. Um, and a lot of times it has been our conditioning, our upbringing, and society that keeps us there. So the moon in Aries is going to be square in Pluto, and that may bring it up. I feel like if we keep reaching for powerfully, passionately, in alignment with our integrity, working on that soul level, reaching for our light, reaching for our truth, then we're going to be able to move past this. But you may come up some worth stuff around who you are and who society tells you that you should be. Again, this Scorpio energy wants to show us the shadows. There's no reason to be guilty about who you really are. 
this is a really beautiful opportunity to reclaim this energy. So just be very aware of that in the background. I also do want to mention that we are building into a trine between the sun and Chiron. So there is healing that's coming up. So these things that are happening between like the the truth speakers, the truth shovers out there, and um, and any insecurity that may come up around who you are, these are offering you sacred mirrors in order to heal yourself in and through this energy. Chances are these are some of those, you know, those final Scorpio dreads. And let me just say one more thing <clears throat> in regards to final Scorpio dreads. Even though the sun is finishing up in Scorpio, in December we are going to have a Scorpio resurgence. We will have Venus re-enter Scorpio from one end and we will have Mercury retrograde into Scorpio on the other end. So we are going to have this Scorpio resurgence. So you're not done, <laughs> even though we're so close, you're not done with the Scorpio lessons. So you might as well dig in <laughs> because the universe is saying this is really important. And I have both the Rebirth card and from Rumi, I have the Sacred Phoenix heart. And both of those energies deal with those Scorpio topics. Rebirth, Phoenixing. This is how we get into our power, by going into those places that we fear. fear the going into those places that we dread. Going into those places that carry the darkness. Because there is light in there for us. And there is rebirth. In there for us and so many possibilities gotta be willing to go into the depths anyways sacred phoenix heart under the cover of blood love veils many rose gardens in total faith love tenderly guides every lover to the garden of the heart reason says the world is limited in six directions there is no way out but love says there is a way and i have traveled it many times all right. Love guides us through the travails that seem improbable, if not impossible. It does not shy away from any challenge, from any cause. It cannot. It is just love's way. Love says there's always another way, and you are receiving this guidance now. Oh, this oracle comes with a message for you. You may feel as though you've been wandering in a desert for many years with no oasis in sight. I swear 2018 has definitely felt like that, right? <laughs> you may have been through darkness, through trials, endured confusion and uncertainty as you sought for your truth, sought divine revelation, and sought your purpose to confirm your plans. Seek no more. The answers are now given and or very soon will be. And the life, the passion, the purpose, it will come to you in clarity. Does life need to be grasped for? No, it is bestowed according to grace and destiny. It need not be sought so much as received. The spiritual destiny that calls your soul, even whilst you may feel your bodily ears are deaf to the call, it makes your heart leap. It is as though hearing the beloved's voice and stirring an ancient memory of love so powerful, an ancient memory of love so powerful moves you. Oh, a stirring and stirring an ancient memory of love so powerful, it moves you. It's missing a word there. That's why I was confused. It moves you, <laughs> even without you necessarily understanding how or why. So let the life come to you. Be prepared to let the old version of your life pass away into the new life being born. What does this mean? It means letting go of your striving, your opinions, your doubts, your despair, your fears. Life wants to happen through you, blazing angel. You don't have to do much other than get out of your own way. <laughs> Love is your nature. Let it flourish and life shall unfold accordingly. The oracle also brings a particular message regarding divine timing, that oh-so-significant factor in our dreams coming to life. Your time is fast approaching, and it may even be now. It may seem least likely to you. There may be great darkness or confusion, Scorpio season, <laughs> and yet the unveiling of the new dawn is closest to the deepest darkness of the night. Do not turn back or away from your progress. Your very next step shall be upon hallowed ground, rendered golden by the rays of the rising sun. Let's do the sacred honoring ritual because, oh my God, Scorpios. Place your hands on your heart and say, this sacred Phoenix heart is blessed. Through every loss, every grief and sadness, every morning, this heart grows strong, ready to ignite into new life, into the dance that is not the funeral procession, but the rite of spring. This heart is ready to leap with new life, to be infused with the joy of innocence and the passion of 
deepest devotion. How I trust my heart to lead me, guided by the inner voice of love through all that could possibly be. I am safe. This heart knows the way, and I follow it faithfully now into the light of a new day. Through sacred grace, so be it. Place your hands in prayer and close your eyes. Imagine there is love in your heart and that you can send a gentle acknowledgement of that love from your mind to your heart. As you bow your head towards your hands, imagine you are mentally bowing to the greatest of your heart and the love it honors. You have created your sacred honoring ritual. So that is it for today, kicking off this week. I hope you have a beautiful Monday. You can book a reading with me. Email mimiclark at gmail.com for that. Um, I have my $99 year ahead reading going up this week. It's going to be $99. Uh, it's with me and Joe, by the way. It's going to be $99 through, like, I will say mid-December. And then I'm going to up it back up to, like, probably one eleven. So this is going to be the time to get it. A few people have reached out already. I'm really excited to dig into uh, 2019 because oh my god 2020 comes right after that and 2020 is what we have been building into so with that have a beautiful rest of your day uh the better it gets the better it gets there is enough love in the world for you and you have the power namaste